Hi, my name is Alana Hess, and I'll be doing my presentation on civil rights activists. <clears throat> so we'll be focusing on three main activists, those being Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, and Rosa Parks. The reason I chose these three individuals is that all three of them sparked great change, but in very different ways. And I, I, th I thought that was really interesting. So starting with Martin Luther King Jr. A little bit on his background is that uh, both of his parents were college educated, which is very rare at the time. Um, his father was a Baptist minister, which led Martin Luther King Jr. to eventually go off to college and obtain his degree in theology, and then becoming a Christian minister himself. What set Martin Luther King Jr. apart from many other African American families at this time is that he grew up in a good, successful black neighborhood and had a loving family. This was quite rare at the time. So Martin Luther King Jr. is arguably the most influential individual of the civil rights movement and he had a very interesting approach on change. He was very focused on nonviolence. He wanted and participated in peaceful protests and peaceful speeches and never wanted anyone to be in harm's way. The bottom line with Martin Luther King Jr. is that he wanted integration. He wanted segregation to be no more and craved equality for all citizens, black or white or any race. The next activist we're going to be talking about is Malcolm X. He was very different from Martin Luther King Jr. They differed in their approaches to change and their background, and they were seen often as polar opposites of each other. So with Malcolm X, a little background on him is that his parents were not in the picture. So he bounced from foster home to foster home as a child. He ended up going to prison for 10 years and there joined the Islamic faith. He did not attend college as Martin Luther King Jr. did. So Malcolm X is very different than Martin Luther King Jr. with their approaches on change. So with Malcolm X, his way of speech derived more from passion than intellect, which differed from Martin Luther King Jr. who was college educated and his speeches were very intellectual and well put together. Um, Another difference is that Malcolm X supported violent protests and wanted to light a fire under the belly of African American citizens. citizens. <coughs> and he really wanted to emphasize African American pride in their African roots. He was actually in favor of segregation. He was in favor of it in this way. He wanted African Americans and white Americans to be separate and wanted African Americans to have their own communities within the country and um, uh, therefore excluding other races from, from joining their communities. He eventually wanted um, African Americans to make the move back to Africa to have a strong sense of their African roots and pride in their heritage. He was really in search of justice um, in the civil rights movement while Martin Luther King Jr. wanted to move forward. Malcolm X wanted justice for the, in the, the injustices against the African American race. So our next activist is Rosa Parks. A little background on her 
Uh, she lived with her grandparents as a child and grew up in an average town with a segregated school. She was unable to finish high school due to family responsibilities as she had to go and stay at home and take care of her grandmother. Um, she worked in a factory at a young age and um, ended up joining the local NAACP and was a chapter leader. So Rosa Parks was different than both Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. in that she approached change without meaning to. She approached change um, by, uh, well, she didn't mean to be an activist. The way she sparked change is that she simply stood up for herself on a rule she saw as unjust. This was a good example of peaceful resistance because she didn't <clears throat> spark violence but instead um, but instead just stood up for what she thought was right. Um, this sparked great change and started the Montgomery bus boycott. This showed that no one needs a platform to change the world and the smallest actions can have the greatest impact. So these three people sparked civil change in very different ways and all went down in history for their huge impact. Thank you.